Lee. Davo. How's it going? Fantastic, mate. How was Middlesbrough? Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough was amazing, I think. It was like a cup final atmosphere. It was like a, like a European night, and especially because it was a night game. It felt like a European game to me. I mean, you were there as well. What was your opinions? Oh, the atmosphere was brilliant. It was brilliant. I think if we can carry that on, we don't need no gimmicks, no, just, just normal standard support, loud vocal people, flags as, as the one modelled here. It's a beautiful flag. Beautiful. Isn't it? Beautiful, amazing flag. So if there's any flags, I mean, I've seen quite a few flags been made up for this season and some of them are really good. Have you seen the Caddy and Robbo one? Love it. It's a lovely flag, isn't it? Brilliant. Lovely flag. We don't need to go over the top. Just keep it simple and keep it vocal. Stick to who we are as Blues. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, mate. Sweet. Yeah? <laughs> On the Blues, yeah? On the Blues. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, fuck, maybe flags come down when you're done. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, I'm original flag. Oh, good man. What do you reckon about that flag? What do I think about that flag? Yeah. Fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Cardiff. Are we having a good time? Oh, brilliant time, man. What do you reckon about Tilton Alliance? Um. Yes. Yes. Heard a lot about it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I believe Why not? It. I'm a blue nose. You don't be anything else but, but a blue nose. Appreciate your input. Get on with it. Everyone loves Tilton Alliance. Oh, everyone. There's not people not walking up to us in the streets. Everyone. Everyone loves us. What is your response to any of the negativity that you've received? Uh, well, I think there's always going to be negativity. Like I said to you before, when we first met up on the way here, I said, mate, you could single-handedly save the world from a speeding meteorite. And there'd be always someone that said, oh, you should have let it destroy us, the world to shit on. On the, the internet, the internet's a weird place sometimes. People will say loads of things on the internet, but they'll shake your hand in real life. They won't say anything to your face. Do you think you're starting to win over some of the doubters? Yeah, yeah, I think we, 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 we won over quite a lot after the Middlesbrough game. There was people on our group saying, I didn't, I didn't expect you to do that well, blah, blah, blah. And we won over quite a few. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the way it's gone. So what's the next step for you? Next step, Saturday, first home game of the season. Almost sold out the block, there's about 100 tickets left. We've sold in the block, 232 season tickets, that was last Friday. So it might be up to 250 odd now. I mean, to sell that many season tickets, there's only 77 sold last season there. And you know, we've put a lot on that, really. And uh, the plan is just to try and grow and just, just carry on the support as we've been doing. So you definitely made an impact so far? Oh yeah, definitely made an impact. There's, there's no doubt about it. Don't get me wrong, but with the Middlesbrough Brigade, we're not trying to claim that Tilton Alliance made it what it was. We never, but we just, we helped, we've we done our part. There's yeah. other blocks that sing, the block 11, block 9, block 13. Oh, there's there's, there's the loads of other blocks that sing, loads. <laughs> You're still here? <laughs> it's, just, it's just an old song, like we sing. Uh, Tilton, word of Barbie Tilton, are we there? Yeah, right. <laughs> Throwing pork pies at me. Throwing No, starting kidney pies over the fucking mother. It's against health and safety then. <laughs> so obviously the Middlesbrough game being the last game of the season, a night yes. game, people were up for it in general. Yeah. What do you say to the people that say, well, on a Tuesday night in January, what are you going to do then? Where will the atmosphere be? On a Tuesday, rainy Tuesday night, people not might not want to turn up, but still, there's been 200, many 240 seasons to get sold. As long as we turn up and do our business, no one else can really mind, can they? We were just trying to get bums off seats, like, like it used to be there. It used to be a really intimidating atmosphere. Yeah. I remember your interview with Tom Ross, actually, Sir Alex Ferguson said the same thing. It's one of the most intimidating grounds to go to. If we could make it like that again, I mean, that, that, that's the dream, that's the aim. So the real success for Tilton Alliance would be not noise in block four, but noise all around oh, the ground. Oh yeah, of course, it's not just block four, but people need to remember that. A lot of people say, oh, you're alienating yourselves in the block four, which we're not, because obviously I approached the club, because we got a, a lot of people interested. I didn't, we didn't just want to organize something where a couple of hundred people just well, ended up over 400 to fill the block. Just turn up out of nowhere, you know. I thought I could contact the club, and they said the best place for you to go is Block Four. So we've gone there. And uh, but it doesn't—you don't have to be in Block Four. I mean, I've had people from all kinds of different blocks asking me, "I've oh, got any stickers, mugs, whatever." It's a brilliant thing that you're doing. People who sit in the paddocks, young, young, younger people, uh, people who sit in the cop. They all loads of people support you. Don't have to sit in Block Four. It doesn't matter. And you've definitely got the word out there with the Facebook group and the stickers, like you said. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's got everywhere. I mean, after the Cardiff game, but the last away game of the season. 
I mean, I must have handed out a couple of hundred stickers, give them out. We, we had a whole fan, uh, he joined the group, he had a whole fan ask how we went about it, because they want to do the same up there. Apparently they're going through a load of shit with their owners, so he wanted to change the name of the club and stuff. Apparently they had a group, but they split them clean in half and separated them. I mean, I don't understand why clubs do that, you're just destroying the game, you know, you're destroying it. Why would you want to set, cut, cut your key core of home fans in half and, and ruin it? I don't understand it. So yeah, the words definitely got out there about us. And uh, if other clubs are looking at us thinking we'd like to do that, then it's brilliant. You know, it's brilliant for football in general. And your relationship is still good with the club? Yeah, our relationship signed with the club, yeah. I mean, after the after the uh, Middlesbrough game, I got a text of someone who works for the club, one of the people I had a meeting with, saying how brilliant it was and they, they wanted to get in the block with us. Like, they just said it was amazing. So, you know, we've just got to behave, you know, just keep it to support. And on this night, I will say the vast me, uh, once again, no smoke bombs because they will get you. And I know a lot of clubs do a three year ban if you let off a pyre in the ground, but Blues do a five year ban now. And the, the security cameras will get you. I've, I've seen the security system there. The, the cameras will find you, they'll get you. Another thing is standing on uh, gangways. We can't crowd up the gangways because we'll get complaints off the stewards. Health and safety. Health and safety. You've got to be health and safety conscious these days. You can't do anything. But yeah, just if you want to sit in the block, even if you've got a season ticket, I've been told by a uh, club you can request to change it for a game to try another seat yeah. so if you wanted to try it you could just come down that's if you want to of course because you don't have to sit in block four it's not about block four it's about st andrews i mean you've got block four down there and you've got block 11 up there and there's other blocks block 13 block nine there's just loads of other blocks where people stand and sing i mean if if, if everyone does it i think it will encourage the whole of the tilton to eventually get back on their feet which is what needs to happen i think personally what are your feelings towards block 11 Black 11 now, Black 11 are all right. I know a few people in Black 11. I can't knock them at all, especially I think the back, the back few rows never sit down any game. I was a season ticket holder in Block 13 for a couple of seasons, and uh, they're by far the, mo the most vocal block in, in St Andrews. The yeah. old dream would be like a St Andrews Alliance where everyone just goes nuts for a game like it used to be. Like in the 90s? Yeah, like in the 90s when I went first down there as a kid with my dad and yeah. I remember not even being able to see the game because it was yeah. just stand up, but this big. What's the best atmosphere you've ever witnessed at St Andrews? Um, it's close. It's close between the West Ham semi-final, yeah. Villa quarter-final, and Ipswich semi-final won it. Yeah, yeah them, them three games there. But the one that stuck in us was the Villa, because yeah. it was Villa. And the, the way it happened, and it was scored light on, and we went nuts. Um, per, that's my personal favourite, to be honest, was the Villa game. Yeah. That, that one in the cup. Right, so we've had a few fans sending questions yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, far Let's away. Let's see if though. we can answer some of them. Far away. First question yep. comes from Blue Nose Ed. Hello, Blue Nose Ed. Will we be seeing the Volcano chant? It would be epic seeing the tilt and do that. Keep right on. Um, maybe it means the thunderclap from Iceland, because the, I don't really know about the volcano chant. Um, as far as that thunderclap goes, it's good seeing Iceland do it, it's their thing, but I mean, I think I think it's really cheesy if another club copied it. I heard crew done it in pre-season at Wolves. Uh, nah, no, I, know, I heard the Leeds fans done it the other day when Frankie Gavin was fighting in Leeds. I know loads of Leeds fans go to support Josh Warrington, to be fair, they, they do make a brilliant atmosphere there, I've seen it on the telly. I know that they were doing it there, but... Leeds don't need something like that. No, they don't need something like that. They don't need no gimmicky chance like you say, Leeds don't need to do that either. No, no club in England needs to do that, really. I mean, if that happens down the Blues and it catches on, I might sit at the top of the Gilmeric on my own, to be honest, and just watch the game from there. That'll be the day we just become Millwall season yeah. ticket holders. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll drive down there, me and you, every week, and we'll go to the den. Next question, and this is a good one. Bill Nash. Where's the best curry house in Birmingham? Oh, the best curry house? That is a good question. It's got a lot we of like questions yeah, like that. Yeah, we do like questions like that. Personally, my favourite would be Simla Curry House, which is on the Bristol Road in Longbridge, opposite the job centre. What dish would you recommend there? Uh, I like hot dishes, hot, hot dishes. I'd recommend the special naga. Yeah, that, that'll that blow your bollocks off. If you have that, yeah, <laughs> you'll know about it. Michael Jabari. Oh, hello, Jabs. Jabs asks, can you have a wash every so often? Oh, Jabs knows the answer to this question because I went to the Euros with him. He should know that I only shower fortnightly. He should know this. So he knows the answer is no. So it was a silly question, you Yeah, say. it was a silly question. There was the answer. We've been away together at the Euros. I, I don't shower. I don't see the point. And what about the experience at the Euros? Oh, the experience was brilliant. I mean, uh, we went, I went there. I booked up to go to Paris 
thinking that we were going to beat Slovakia, which yeah. then, you know, we never. So I still went anyway, but no, brilliant atmosphere between all the fans. I mean, it was just pure brilliant atmosphere. On the last night, when we went out, there was a load of us were singing, no, oh, don't take me home outside the pub. And uh, out of nowhere, it wasn't causing no trouble. I was, out of nowhere, about 30 right vans pulled up with the police. They've steamed us with shields. They were wh whacking us with shields. We'd done nothing wrong at all. And uh, yeah, I can see how they instigated the trouble in like Marseille and Lille. I really can. But all in all, it's a brilliant experience. I've just gutted about England, to be honest with you. Yeah. Gutted. We've got a question here from a Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Why do the Tilton Alliance behave like children? Um. It's a strange question. It is a strange question because I've never seen the till. We've only attended one game and no one actually like children there. Let me have a look at Kenny. Have a look. Kenny. Oh, Kenny Jacket to Villa, his name is. That's a strange name, it's isn't it? It's a strange name, it really is. Kenny Jacket enthusiast. The answer to that, Kenny, is here's your phone back, Dave. We don't behave like children and it's quite funny. I have no idea who you are, but you're following other me or you Davo, so he's maybe both of us, maybe he's obsessed. Do you reckon maybe he'd like to join Tilton Alliance? Yeah, I think he'd love it. I think Kenny Jacket enthusiast wants to put on his jacket and come to Block 4. There's another strange one here and it's from James. Okay James. Boxers or Y fronts? I'm usually a boxer man, but at work lately I've been grafting my arse off right and I ditched the boxers and put jogging shorts on, you know the top low ones? Right. And they were comfy, no chafing, no problems or anything. So to answer that question, I'd say Running shorts. Just for the record. Yeah. It looks like James is an Arsenal fan. Oh, James, an Arsenal fan. So the strange questions are coming in, but not from Blues fans. Yeah, tonight. well, that that says it all, really, doesn't it? If, does he live in London? He ain't a real Londoner. Maybe he's born in Thierry Henry, so I'm from. That happened on this day in 1999. Yeah, he actually did. Yeah. Brian Nash sends in a question all the way from the US. Oh, hello, Brian. In what ways are you trying to get more supporters into St Andrews? And secondly. Do you have any interest in helping funding a fan to come over from across the pond for a match? First answer to the first question is, is just carry on what we're doing. Just carry on doing what we're doing to encourage people back down there. I mean, things are looking up for the Blues. Hopefully his takeover goes through. We've got a brilliant manager. Panos, our club director, is a brilliant man. And, no uh, Panos, no party. Yeah, no, and actually he had a t-shirt dropped off to him at the club yesterday, which he asked for himself. So hopefully we'll see him wearing that. And as, as for funding, it's funny enough, we funded a, a Portuguese lad called Andre to come across from Portugal through Birmingham City Fan Talk, and that's how all of this started. So if it wasn't for funding a fan to come over, and when we all got together, all the admins from that group, this wouldn't have happened. It's funny enough he asked that question. So yeah, we could start something on the group where I'll like, go from my page and I'd willingly put money in if he wants to come across and watch. Just, I'm sure if a Bruno knows his wood, because we're quite a generous bunch. Any American is welcome at St Andrews. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. As long as they don't bring no corny chants, because I've seen one and they copy Millwall, which you won't be happy I've about. I've seen that. It's I not good. I in that it? video. It's not good. It's, it's not, not good, good at, all. at all. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really commenting no more on that. We'll, we'll leave it, it at that. that. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. James BCFC. Hello, James. Can you not start keep right on 50 times a game? Yeah, well, personally, I don't. That's answers that one. I think keep right on should be limited. I mean, bounce it out at the start of the game. I think when the team's down, I know it gets sung often when the other team score, you know, it's kind of like a battle cry, isn't it? Yeah. And I think it shouldn't be over because a lot of the time, a lot of Blues fans would agree with this. You'll start it and then people won't get like, past this, the first verse, you know, and it dies out and, it, and it's, it's sad to see because it's, it's the best football anthem in the world. We know that, don't we? No question. There's no question about it. A follow on from that, a question from me. Go on then. Do you agree with me that we need to do less of the clapping and keep right on? And yes. bring back. Bring back the la la la. Bring it back. Bring back the la la la. So you posted that video of the Leyland Daft final. Yeah. At the end of it. Where they sit, and it was it's just glorious. So slow it down a bit. Bring back the la la la. It's absolutely glorious. I mean, that we need to do it. Can we see this in block four? Oh, yeah. I'll do it anyway now. I've started doing it now. It'd be much better. It sounds a lot better with la la la. So I know you agree. Definitely. It does. It's a lot better. A lot, lot better. So, yeah, but we'll try our best to bring back the la la la. We want the la la la. A bit of a silly one. Go on then. It's from Steve Bannister. Hello, Steve Bannister. Ketchup or brown sauce? Depends what on. I mean, if you're talking about a breakfast, it's brown sauce. There's no doubt about it. You have to. You can't have red sauce. It should be a criminal offence to have red sauce on your breakfast. And you do like a full English breakfast? I do like a full English diver. You know a lot more food. I do, I do. But yeah, brown sauce. Brown In sauce. what situation would you choose ketchup? On a McDonald's egg McMuffin. Gary Hunter. Hello, Gary Hunter. Will Tilton Alliance be at the away games as well? Not as a group, no. Because I, I have people. I go with Ada. 
Oh, open Rowett's Bar. I like Rowett's Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool bar, man. It's a cool bar. Jabari. I'll go with him when I've had a wash. Jabs. Yeah, I'll go with Jabs after I've had a bath, yeah. It's a group to get the home atmosphere back. We don't need a group away from home. I mean, if, if the atmosphere was like it was away at home, then we wouldn't need Tottenham Alliance. We, we wouldn't need anything. It would never have been thought of. I mean, away fans, we're up there with the best. You'll agree. Definitely. We're loud. We don't stop singing all game. So, no, we're not going to be doing away games. You're not going to like this one. Oh, no. Kieran, what's your favourite Celtic chant? Oh, none of them. None of them. You don't like Celtic? No, no, my favourite Celtic song is a Rangers song. Here's a good one from Rick Harwood. Have you ever had a tin of salmon? Yeah, well, yeah, I love salmon. Very fond of salmon. Luke Bennett, what are your expectations for the season? And how pleased are you with the progression of Tilton Alliance? Um, expectations are carry on, getting bums off seats, carry on the growth of the group. Hopefully we can fill block for every game. I, I know it's a bit ambitious, but uh, why not? Dan Paxton, how long does it take you to do your hair? Uh, not that long. You know, I just... It's done. It's finished. That's it. Reese McNally. Yes, Reese. What block are you sitting in in the whole 10 this season? Reese, Reese. That's a really silly question, isn't it? That's right? ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Strange question. Strange question. Strange question. Kane Styles, good question. Go on, Kane. What do you think of the transfer problem? Which striker would you like us to sign? Yeah, I mean, the transfer one's a tricky one. We haven't been able to really buy players for a few seasons now. We've done well with what we've got. I personally, I think Bradshaw would have done a job for us. I think he would have been the man. I mean, he was only cheap, but, you know, he went to Barnsley. I've heard he couldn't afford his wages, and I heard that Barry wasn't a fan either. No, I think we should snap Cole Lafferty up, to be honest. Kieran again. Kieran, he looks at questions, he's just, he's another Celtic. It's not, it's a serious one this I've time. Where would you like Tilton Alliance to be this time next year, and would it be a case of it's no longer needed if the home atmosphere returns to what it was? Yeah, I mean, this time next year, if it could fill Phil is filled with tilt on every game, you know, it's it's always nearly there. But if you could sell it out every game because of the atmosphere is that good, it'd be brilliant. And then if if, if it did that and, it, and we had the atmosphere we wanted, then there, there would be no need for tilt on the lines. Right, there's a difficult one here. Go on, then. Ian Reddington. He says he was at Solihull yes. with his partner, standing by the so-called tilt on alliance, and he was hit by a smoke bomb. Yes. Do you condone that behaviour? What do you think of the risk of attracting the wrong kind of attention? Yeah, I was there as well, to be honest, and uh, there was some people there, and it, 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 it was a bit embarrassing, because I was standing by our flag, and I think they were young people, so maybe, maybe they were a bit naive to the situation, you know what I mean? We, we don't condone that type of behaviour, to be honest. Uh, the pe person who done it got chased by the steward and threw the pyro and it hit someone, I mean, there's things that we don't want to see, definitely don't, I mean, if you do that at home, you're going to get banned, they're going to catch up. If, if people come and try and do that in Block 4, I mean, it's, it's going to go wrong for them because they're going to get caught, they're going to get banned, arrested, fined. Whatever, there was a kid in Scotland, I think he was a Motherwell fan, he got sent to jail for letting off a pyro. Kieran Farrelly, how long do you predict the Tilton Alliance will last? Uh, forever. If it was going to be a flash in the pan, if I thought it was going to be a flash in the pan, I wouldn't have done it. It's all or nothing, so, yeah, I predict we're here for the long haul, mate. There's one from Sean Hall, and I like this question. Go on, then. If you like it, it's got to be good. Could you arm wrestle Adibola bloke live? I can arm wrestle. I'm not good at arm wrestles, but I would take up the challenge if Adibola bloke's up for it. Who do you think would win? I think I'd win, obviously. I think, yeah, there's no doubt about it. Of course I'd win. I never doubt myself, Dave. You and can't I've, doubt yourself, Dave. Nah. And I've got a question for you, actually. Go on. What does Adibola bloke think of us? Have you spoke to him about it? Or can you ask him his opinion? I have spoke to him. Yeah, because I know, I know, I've seen videos of him slagging off fan groups in the past. Yeah. The cheesy ones, though. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I'd like to not put us in that category at all because we, we wasn't cheesy against good as well. So what did Adebola bloke say? Me and him, we're good friends and we, we share a lot of the same opinions. Yeah. When it comes to football, we like the old-fashioned support. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you said, stand up, sing, get behind yeah. your team, react to what goes on on the pitch. Yeah. None of the choreographed stuff. Nah, we don't, we don't need, need ultras. We don't need ultras, no. We don't need the same old songs that you hear from so many teams up and down we the love country. You. We love you. Yeah, we, love we, we hate that song. We hate, hate that. that song. We like the fact that as Blues, we've got our own reputation as fans. We've got our own songs. Build that into a better atmosphere at home. Yeah. And that's all we need. Yeah, it is all we need. It's, and that's all we're trying to do. We're not trying to do no more, no less. We just need bombs off seats, people being vocal, shouting, singing, chanting. We just need to keep it, keep it real as it was. Yeah. You know, we've got hundreds of songs Blues have. Drew Hill, what are your plans for Villa at home? Um, do you need a plan for Villa at home? I don't think it's us that need the plan, to be honest with you. That's one of those games where 
Yeah. Shorten Alliance shouldn't be needed. No, we're not needed. Obviously, we'll be there. But uh, no, nah, there's no plans whatsoever. You don't need a plan for Villa at home. Dan Logie, what's your opinion on holding scars up during Keep Right On and waving them about? I've got no, I've got no qualms with that at all. If people want to do that, that's up to them as a, as a person. You know, it's their choice. If people want to do it, they can crack on. Yeah. Shane asks, is it natural, or do just for men really do ginger? <laughs> No, they don't. It's called Just For Gingers. I use it every morning, trying to get rid of this white bit in the middle. It's not grey, it's just white, so the colour will always be. I just wanted to clear that up. Steve Lowe sent in a question. Yes, Steve Lowe. I know Steve Lowe. He's, he's a good, funny man. Steve and he's attached a picture. He asks, how long have you been playing for Derby? <laughs> have you got any message for uh, Steve about asking such a silly question? Yeah, Steve. How's your back, mate? What's he done to his back? I don't know what he's done to his back, but he's been moaning about it every day for the last two weeks. As he put earlier, my back's been in pain for two weeks and I actually accidentally liked the status, so, and I'm glad they did now. Important question here. Go on then, important. From Callum Horn. Go on, Callum. The Roost, the Forge, or the George? Adi Bowler. There you go. Yeah, that's the answer. Uh, but seriously, answer the George. That's where we'll be. It's good to get an atmosphere going pre-game in the George, because you've got the ground, the good backdrop. Location. Yeah, it's a good location. Is the George the official pub? The yeah, Alliance. yeah, they agreed to it. Yeah, they agreed. Anton, who owns the pub, he agreed to be our official pub. They support what we're doing. Adam Smith, Adam Smith, yeah, Adam, yeah. Hi, Adam. Will you be leaving at half time on Saturday? Uh, it depends if he's standing next to me or not. Paul Fitzhenry, will the Tilton Alliance be starting off a song for Jack Storer? What uh, about Jack Storer's on fire? Yeah, to the sound of Kings of Leon, Sectors on fire. Yeah, I think he posted the link here. Yeah. And uh, Paul's a good man. Paul runs Blue Lagoon. Paul's a good man. Uh, that, uh, most of them support us at Blue Lagoon as well, so thanks to them. Unfortunately, Paul, I won't be endorsing in that song because I, I think it's a bit cheesy. It's quite funny, it is quite funny, but I think it's a bit cheesy. So, uh, me personally, no. There's a question here from a lad on Facebook. Oh, has he got a name or is he anonymous? He said he wants me to ask you to guess who asked this question. Oh, interesting. What do you think of the Block 39 Massive <laughs> and their leader? So that's Reese, yeah? I guess Reece Malloy. Yes, Reese Malloy. Yeah, like I said earlier, I like, I like the Block 39 lads, the good lads. I know, you know what, there isn't, there isn't many of them, you know, maybe 20, 30, but they stand at the back of Block 39 and they stand and sing all day. They like giving their away fans grief and that's what they want to do. So fair play to them, you know, can't, can't knock them, can't knock them, yeah, they're the good lads. Nathan Bircher, this is an easy one. Just give me a shout out. What's his name? Nathan Bircher. Nathan Bircher. Kyle brother. Sam Gibbons. Oh, Would you yeah. ever consider trying to combine Block 39 and Tilton Alliance? Um, yeah, I mean, cup games or anything like that, you know, if we want to get together and do something and combine that support, it's not a problem. I'll go and sit anywhere if someone says, oh, well, come sit here with me for a game. I don't mind going to do it. I'm not bothered. Benji Smith. Benji. When are you buying a new toolbox? I tried to open my toolbox from the car off. <laughs> And it didn't work, so if anybody knows of any good toolboxes that open with car fobs, let me know and I'll purchase one. Luke asks, how good did it feel when not one person in Block 4 sat down as kickoff approached against Middlesbrough? Oh, it was brilliant. Yeah, I was overjoyed, to be honest with you. I kept on, I was on the front row and I just kept on looking behind and seeing everyone. I was like, it's working, it's working. And I was, it, it was a good feeling. It was a proud day for you? It was it? a proud day. But yeah, it, it was a really good day, man. It, it was kind of emotional at the end, because when we was walking up at the end, people were standing there clapping us and I thought, you know, it's brilliant, mate. It's absolutely brilliant. It's going to be the same Saturday as well. Everyone's going to stand and sing, because that's what it's advertised as. That's what we're trying to do. So I don't think anyone's going to come down and try and sit down. It's, that's, that's not going to happen. So yeah, it, it was really good. So on that note, good luck to you. Yeah, cheers, Davo. Thanks for your time again. And I'll see you in the future, no doubt. Keep right on. Cheers.